It's a mummy. Look. <gasps> a mummy. <gasps> mummy. <laughs> She likes you. Can I give her a kiss on the Mommy. head? Oops, her hat fell off. Can you put it on her head? Hello, baby. Should we give her a kiss? Oh, so lovely. Should we put her back? Should mummy hold her? No, okay. Okay. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. Oh, you're such a good sister. <laughs> That's so nice, Amber. She likes it, Amber. Oh. <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> hi, guys. <laughs> <From> <laughs> How does Mabel say it? She goes, hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> yeah, of course you can get down. You come in to say hello. Hello. Boo. Hello. <laughs> Mabel can't say hello yet, can she? She's too little. But Amber can. Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> you, hello. <laughs> you're funny. Hello guys. There's Mabel. Mabel rabbit. Yeah, she's got rabbits on her little onesie, hasn't she? Hop little bunny, hop, 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 hop little bunny. <laughs> That's like your song, isn't it? You used to wear that. Yeah, you used to wear this. <laughs> Do you remember? Of course you don't. Does this fit Amber? No. No. It's Mabel's. It's Mabel's. Daddy's in the background. Oh, uh, no, I'm here. Daddy's background. Hello, yeah. and welcome to our first 24 hours with <laughs> two under two. What? With two under two, three and nappies. Keep the meat. You're the only one nine nappies. Uh, I was like, what? Wow, you're so slow. I was like, Mila's not a nappy. What are you doing? Oh, yes, welcome to our probably very hectic vlog. James is like a walking zombie because he took the shift with Mabel last night. The night before I'd been in hospital and she didn't sleep one wink. She's a great sleeper in the day. <laughs> didn't sleep one wink in the night. I think she was cluster feeding my milk. It's your day. My milk hasn't come in yet. Um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, my milk hasn't come in, so I think she's like trying to get the milk to come down and everything. So, so yes, last night I had a lovely stint while well, you had Mabel, um, but yeah, we're just adjusting. I've forgotten how Amber slept in the night this early on, but for some reason we had an idea that they did. No stints. Oh, that's cold. Strong scent. And we've got a special present that Mabel bought oh. for you, Amber. Yeah. Mabel's, Mabel's got, got you a present. present. We're going to give it to you in a minute. Would you like it? Ooh. Ooh. Will Daddy go and get it? Would you like your present from Mabel? Okay. 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 Yes, Amber? Yeah. Oh, that's very nice asking Daddy okay. to get Mabel's oh, present. Yeah, let's have it in the lounge. I still can't get over the fact that she was only seven pounds seven and a half, and Amber was seven pound ten. Yeah. So she's a little bit smaller than Amber. She feels like such a dip. Yeah, Daddy.
Daddy's gonna get. Should we go in the lounge and wait for the present? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> you... Hello, Mila. Good morning, Mila. Morning, Mila. Oh, should we wait here for Daddy? I think he's bringing it downstairs. Oh my! in the house where you think all the rooms are meant to go. Wow, that is such a good job. Plus, oh, this is all so cute. Ooh, having a lovely little loft goes, conversion. that's upside down. Daddy's off to bed in the bunk bed. Oh, lovely. He needs a little pillow and a little blanket. <laughs> Amber's having a play I with... I need a pillow and blanket, actually. That would be lovely. <laughs> James is still... Where's the blankie gone? Where's the blankie gone? Hmm. I can see the blank. Oh, look, he's got a little blankie on. That's so nice, Amber. That's lush. He looks really cozy. <laughs> She's so cute. Look how good our house is coming along, guys. We've got a bathroom, bedroom for Mr. Hippo, who's in there. Little lounge, kitchen area. I found the pillow. Where should the pillow go? Hippo's bed, I think, needs a pillow. And they've got this little doll's house, which is a doll's house of the doll's house, if you get me. James is having a snooze over there with Mabel. Uh, <laughs> Are you sleeping, okay? Oh, Hippo's sleeping, yeah. Everyone's sleeping. <laughs> Everyone's sleeping, yeah. Wake up, Mabel! Little John Lewis fridge, that's hilarious. The whole thing's from John Lewis. I know we had questions last time I showed the house. The house itself is from John Lewis no. and then the um, little bits that go in it are from there as well. I need some people to go in it. I cannot believe that I forgot to get people. That's like her favourite bit to play with, is actually having people okay, in a house. She's just got a hippo instead to put in there. So I really need to get some... Hippo! Oh, yeah, that's nice. We put it in the bedroom. I like that. Bye! Bye! <laughs> so, Amber has gone to my mum's with my sister for a little, um, well, she's gonna nap there and have a little play and we're gonna go down for a nap now with Mabel. <laughs> for a nap, guys. James is just popping her to sleep. She's and then... very relaxed, but I think a feed before we go yeah. down just to really try and give us that, that maximum time. Little feed, little swaddle into yeah. the bassinet. I'm loving the, uh, the bassinet, guys, with the little bit that comes down. You pop it up and pop it down. I just think that's so cool. Um, so yeah, we got the night light on and we're going down for a nap. <laughs> Which is luck. Yeah. Hello guys, I'm looking a bit rough. <laughs> My eczema has flared up as well. Like it was actually quite getting quite good towards the um, end of pregnancy in the end. And then whenever I go into hospital, um, whenever I go in, like obviously the rare few times I've been in in my life, my eczema always gets really bad. I'm not sure if it's because I get dehydrated or what, but maybe it's the air in there. Dry up like a prune. Um, especially with my eyelids. I haven't had really eyelid eczema um, in a while. I'll say a while, like a month, a few weeks maybe. I know it was so bad at one point in this pregnancy. Um, and then it kind of really cleared up towards the end, which was lovely. I'm just making myself a cup of tea. You're going to have to ignore the very slow mum brain but i've just come downstairs i couldn't actually get to sleep which is so annoying but um obviously i had a better sleep last night than james so i'm not too worried but um i've left mabel and james up there sleeping i gave myself a good hour like even if it was just to rest in the darkness i was like give myself a good hour like i felt very calm and i think i'm just excited like it's always this these first kind of few days where you feel like you should feel so tired and you do feel tired but it's actually over the next few weeks that you can get really tired because it obviously accumulates um, the tiredness accumulates but uh, at the moment you're kind of like on adrenaline you feel really excited like everyone's coming over to see the baby so yes we had earlier we had my parents came over and saw her and my sister they bought these flowers which is so nice and oh my goodness so my parents brought those which are adorable and then when we were napping literally like half an hour into the nap the doorbell went 
and it was this huge bouquet. Let's go and get them actually, because I better put them in some water. I don't even know where I'm going to put them. The most humongous, stunning bouquet of flowers from In The Style. They always send me the most gorgeous flowers, but look at these guys. Look at these flowers. Oh my goodness. Like, they're genuinely so heavy to pick up as well. The guy was like, do you need me, do you need me to bring them inside for you? I was like, oh my gosh, I'm trying to carry them now. Oh. Hello. Absolutely huge. So, um, yeah, better go and put these in some sort of vase if I can find a vase big enough. Got my, uh, oh, I've got to change back into my joggers to look semi presentable in case anyone came to the door, but we're going with the stained hoodie and animal pajamas. <laughs> this is how my life's going to look. Yes, Amber is. Oh, that's not how I usually open a banana. Peel a banana. Amber's at my mum's. She went down for her nap there. She was really happy to go, which was nice because we're kind of like leaving it up to her at the moment, really. Like, she's got a really good routine of like, she sees both her parents loads. She absolutely adores going to see them. But at the moment, it's very much a case of like, would you like to go to Nani's house? And like kind of seeing how she reacts. Um, and she was really happy to go. I think because my sister was there as well. And she doesn't see my sister as often. So she like loves it. Ella, Ella, which is my sister's name. Um, so I was like, do you want to go with Nani and Ella back to Nani's house for a bit? And she was like, yeah, yeah, bye. I was like, okay, bye. Um, so she's gone there. And I'm going to make sure like when I go and pick her up that I go without Mabel, like on my own and kind of, yeah, we're just trying to really like, I know we're probably sound like we're overthinking it because I was talking about it so much in my pregnancy as well, but I just really want to make sure she knows like that I'm still here, like I'm still like just for mummy and Amber time too. Um, she's been good as gold so far, obviously it's still such early days, but like this morning she helped me loads with like changing Mabel's nappy and things like that and she was really like invested and then she also just kind of got a bit bored because obviously literally newborns are like and then we're just like toddle off and do our own things and then when like I had Mabel like when James had her or well, she wasn't with me she would come and give me like a massive hug and like wouldn't let go and was just like hugging me for ages which she never usually does she's very much like you know wacky toddler on a mission sort of thing no time for hugs so that was like something I noticed already that it was almost like when I wasn't with Mabel, she was like really making the most of mum hugs. Um, and James was talking about this yesterday, how we're really going to try and implement this um, kind of parenting thing that we saw online a little while ago. But it was basically saying that um, like one of the best things you can do when you go from having one to two is <clears throat> you also often find that you need to say things to the older one. Like Amber, so same with that example this morning. You'll so often need to say like, you know, I can't just be with you right now. Like the other baby's feeding. They hear that so much that then when the other baby's done and you can have that one-on-one -on -one time with the toddler. So say like I give baby to James and I say, you know, thanks Mabel. I need a bit of, thanks Mabel. Um, you know, I'm gonna have a bit of time with Amber now, like speaking to the newborn. And so the toddler will hear you treating them the same, you know, saying like, I can't be with you right now, Amber. But then I'm also saying, I can't be with you right now, Mabel, even though she doesn't know what I'm on about. I'm going to be spending some time with Amber. And just kind of like treating them equally. Like I remember when I heard that, I loved it. And it made so much sense in my head. I was like, yeah, like it just makes sense, doesn't it? Trying to, trying to do those small little things that just make that toddler feel understood and kind of like equal. I'm gonna go drink my cuppa, eat me banana, and my twirl, balance, twirl chocolate, banana. All these like little things that I bought are reminding me of like right at the end of pregnancy. I was like, I went to Home Sense and like I found all this stuff that was just making me smile. It was all like pink and spring and it was just making me happy. And I was like, I just need to keep filling my life with things that just make me smile. So everything all around the house is like dotted with and my little tulips as well. And the little bunnies that me and Amber painted. <laughs> It's all making me very happy. But yes, my tulips, my white tulips are definitely on their way out. Oh, and me and Nyla did some painting the other day. Um, look at this little card as well that my sister made me. So sweet. How nice is that? She drew that, so lush. She got this little thing as well. Sorry, I'm literally jumping between 50 million different um, 
conversations here. That's not the uh, brand, by the way, in case that's confusing. This is just a little box that she had. How nicely did it fit in there, though? Because it was from a charity shop. Um, so she popped it in a box that she already had. But how sweet is that? I absolutely love it. It's adorable. So, so sweet. And I was saying Amber will love it as well because there's little cows on there. Farm, farm style stuff. Amber just loves. Actually, the day before I went into labour, me and Nyla were having like a girl's afternoon doing like painting and cooking and stuff and that's the one she painted which is absolutely insane and I'm painting this one which I don't know how I'm going to get that done now but it's a picture in case it seems random it's like a one of our best friends has just moved into their new house so I was like doing my interpretation of their new house as a painting um for them but I don't know when I'm going to get time to finish that now so she might just have to have the half finished version <laughs> which will be gorgeous. So, James is still napping, bless him. Mabel has been up for a little while. She's actually napping again now. She is literally the cutest little bean. She loves me. She's so lush. Amber's on her way back now. My mum literally just messaged me saying she was gonna drop her around. My mum and my sister have cooked us some of our HelloFresh meals. How cute is that? They took them earlier. As we were like, um, basically saying like we had two because obviously we've been in the hospital that were like kind of going off today slash tomorrow and they were like we'll take and we'll cook them this afternoon for you how sweet is that so they're bringing them back over now with amber and yeah it's about three o'clock or something like that oh so yeah the day's gone well james has been napping for so long bless him he's obviously so tired um we, neither of us are like very good daytime nappers and i think with amber i can't remember exactly but i'm quite confident in saying we didn't really nap like when she was a newborn and I think it's shown me the difference between going from one to two it's just small things like so last time when we had Amber and um, say like she did what um happened with Mabel last night like she wouldn't go down in the crib like you're kind of up all night with them and then this is like always how it happens they always like then go down at like 5 a.m or something and have like a really good stint and so when it's your first baby, you're just, you can like lie in till like, we used to lie in till like 10, 11, you know, however long that stint would be. But now it's like they go down, the new baby goes down at five. You're like, yes. And then the toddler's up at six or seven. So you've got to get F anyway. So I think that's been like the, yeah, there's just been a lot of things. We feel exhausted this, the first day. So it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. Um, but like all transitions are hard. When you go from zero to one, that's like absolutely huge in so many other ways. There is so much that is on your mind when you go from having no baby to having your first baby that I'm not even thinking about this time. So you just can't compare, you know, there's so many difficulties and challenges with all kind of jumps and they'd be the same, the same from two to three, three to four. So yeah, I'm just kind of experiencing the ones from jumping from one to two. That's definitely one I've noticed so far. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for Amber to get back now. James has gone out. We need to find the teapot, Amber. Where's that gone? Oh dear, we've lost everything in this nursery. Playroom even, haven't we? Where's our teapot? Have a little have a little look around there. See if it's in one of them. Is it in there? James has gone out with the dog. Um, my mum dropped over the food, which was so nice. And we just had a little chat. But we are just all chilling together. My first time with Amber and Mabel without James. So we were like, let's just do it. Let's just, the dog's gotta be walked. It would be a kind of mayhem if we tried to all go together. There it is, we found the teapot. Lovely. Your tea's coming. Upstairs. <laughs> this is how our day's going. She absolutely I'm loves scared. the little doll's house. I need to get some more people to go in it. I can't believe I forgot to get people to go in it. We've got one little figure from another thing she had that she plays with. We've got all the furniture and no blooming no people to go in it. Who have we got there, though? Careful with Mabel. Careful with Mabel. Good girl. we got to be careful, haven't we? Because she's so small. She's been such a good girl. And you've been such a good girl too. You are such a good girl. Yes, you are, sweetie. Oh, she breaks my heart. They both do. I can't believe I've got two girls. What's going on, guys? Who's here? Hello. Daddy and Mila. Hooray. Hooray. Hello, Mila. She's 
literally she's coming for one second and now she's gone she knows it's food time yes. <laughs> we love you too we love you <laughs> 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 wow the pig flew up in the air <laughs> she's like the man next in the brown soon brought him down <laughs> Amber's just had her dinner Mabel's having her dinner Amber's doing some Look in the camera around with one hand. James is cooking our dinner. Aye. And what are you doing, Amber? Painting. Painting! Oh my goodness, should we have a look? Wow! And then on the picture? Whoa! It's beautiful! <laughs> so fun. Are you feeling slightly less like a zombie? Uh, no. <laughs> still, still zombified. I'm still zombified. Bless you. What's this? What have we got? Bedbone. Bedbone. Want this tower? We want to build a tower for sure. Should we build one? Three, four, five. Oh, he's falling in! Oh my goodness! <laughs> he's got a hat. <laughs> So we've just put Amber down for the night. We did dinner, bath, all of that. Um, maybe we'll slept the whole time. <laughs> so I'm like now thinking she's not gonna sleep at all in the night, but I think I just can't get my head around how much they sleep at the start. It's crazy, like I feel like they just sleep all day. She is waking up now actually. Um, but yeah, for me and Mabel are just, hi baby. <laughs> oh, look at her. We're just chilling in. The lounge where I'm um, gonna have some food. James is just finishing off cooking it. We actually ended up, James thought like he felt revitalized and ready to cook. So he thought he'd save the pie that my mum made so he could like have it over the next um, few days or we'll probably just eat it all tomorrow for breakfast, lunch and dinner. So he's cooked the other meal that needed to be cooking for tonight. So we're gonna eat dinner, chill for probably like two minutes before heading up to bed. Hopefully, fingers crossed Mabel, has a bit of a better night's sleep than last night. Um, I've been feeling so good in my body all day. Like, you guys know, if you followed my pregnancy journey, I was in a rough way with how I felt in my body. Just so weak, I couldn't go more than five meters without being in pain, I couldn't pick up Amber, I couldn't, my whole body just felt like it was collapsing in on me. And so I've been like, so excited that I feel good. I've been like, clean and tidy and throwing amber in the air probably overdone it because i'm feeling pretty rough tonight but i've just been so excited um that things don't feel like like even just like bath time was so achy and sore with amber when i was sore and then tidying up after bath time putting the toys away it was all like just felt such hard work and now nothing feels hard as that anymore <laughs> nothing feels so well it's easy but now it's hard in different ways because we're <laughs> tired and i'm bleeding tired and because of lack of sleep rather than yeah because of <laughs> exactly all the new i preferred it post <laughs> i was sleeping great yeah you were doing great <laughs> all the postpartum things are now kind of challenging but the pregnancy stuff was just next level like i just couldn't couldn't do it so yeah that's our evening plans. We'll see how it goes. I think Mabel's waking up just as food's ready. Always on time they are, aren't they? As soon as you your takeaway arrives, your food's ready, you can just bet the newborn's gonna be awake and ready for your attention. Oh my goodness, guys. Look what James has created. It's crazy. Created. I just followed the very basic recipe. <laughs> it was the HelloFresh. <laughs> the HelloFresh makes us look like pro cooks. Um, yeah, of course. It's so nice. Oh my gosh, I'm buzzing for this. <sighs> Just what we need. Mwah. Morning, it's not the morning. It's literally four o'clock. It's now the next day. We're just having a bit of a movie afternoon. Amber, Mabel, we're watching Encanto. Mabel's in there, and a little snooze. I absolutely love this film. And um, yeah, Amber's just like started absolutely loving it because I think, because I play the music, I think she like really recognizes the music in the film. Anyway. It's been a bit of a hectic few hours, not few hours, since I spoke to you last. It's not even been hectic, I just feel, I'm just feeling a little bit defeated today. James has gone upstairs to nap. We had another really hard night um, again last night, which, you know, is totally normal. This is literally like 
our first few days with our newborn baby, you know, like you kind of expect it, but it's always still really hard when it happens. Um, and I think what I'm finding hard is that she's a really good sleeper in the day. So like she sleeps for really long stints, she goes down really well. And I think I'm not appreciating enough that it's like, a hormonal instinctual thing that my milk is coming in and so in the night cluster feeding kind of becomes a very big thing and basically she like wakes up all through the night like every 20 minutes <laughs> like desperate to kind of feed but then falls asleep really quickly because she's not actually that hungry it's almost like she's just stimulating the milk to come through and that is obviously cluster feeding is like short feeds but there's lots of them now I think the problem is I never really had cluster feeding with Amber, so um, it's a bit of a new one for me. But I'm hoping that um, I'm hoping that it's only going to last a few days until my milk is definitely coming in today. My boobs are like really sore, and like I can see that she, her poo has completely changed colour. Like she's having milk, so I'm feeling positive that from now on it's going to get easier. It's just I can't help but like be a problem solver, and I like want to blame myself for like oh I didn't like feed her for long enough that's why she didn't go down for like a longer stint or I'm not you know doing this or that like I'm always trying to problem solve and like come up with a solution um so I was like saying to James then I was like right so tonight I'm gonna try going up to bed really early like settling her really like you know s slowly and like giving her like she can feed for like an hour and I'll just let her come off when he was like look chill out she's literally like a few days old like you just need to go with the flow and like these type of nights which feel like such a failure to me where like she basically could smell me so like she wasn't settled at all and then James would bring her down here and she'd sleep for like a nice long stint when she like couldn't smell me and it's, he's, he was just like look if that's what we have to do for a bit until things settle until your milk comes in until this and that that's what we'll do but I can't, sorry, like, I can't, I feel like I'm telling a story and then it's like literally like off on one in the background with the music. Oh, I love this film. <laughs> Mila Bell. I love it. Yeah, I'm just overthinking. I'm feeling, you know, emotional. I could cry every time I look at her. She's so, so cute. And then, yeah, just kind of feeling it today. But hopefully all that will get a bit easier over the next few days. I just wanted to kind of chat about it and be honest because I feel like, um, Kind of like first 24 hours with us with the newborn videos are like so cute for kind of seeing the newborn and getting to know them and stuff but it's also a really good time to be honest about the fact that the first 24 hours with a newborn it's not even the first 24 hours this is just our first 24 hours at home obviously we had um two days in hospital are really hard <laughs> and so yeah i just wanted to kind of chat about that and be honest about how things are going but in terms of like amber the thing that i was most worried about when i was pregnant was how amber was going to adjust and how amber was going to feel about having a sister and everything and honestly i could couldn't be more emotional and just so amazed and proud of how she's been like she's so excited every morning she wakes up and she gets to see Mabel like if Mabel's not here she'll ask where's Mabel um is that you where's Mabel there she is you tap her don't you if she's crying she gets like you know she's like really kind of like looking at her and she like gets her toy and goes shh and then she's like mummy do it for Mabel and she like wants me to calm her down and honestly like all of that worry that I had is just like nothing nothing you know I didn't need to worry at all things might change obviously it's still early days she probably thinks she's still just staying for a few days and then going so we'll see how that goes over time but yeah it's kind of been all of that stress has been replaced by this other feeding stress. Let me just let Mila in. <laughs> She's such a cutie in there. And um, they've absolutely, they, she's absolutely been loving her doll's house as well. So that has just been the best thing. She's absolutely loved it. But yeah, I think this one's gonna wake up soon. She's been such a sleepy little bean. She's been sleeping for hours in there. And I'm adjusting to the fact, guys, that I'm not. Sorry, Amber, I'm just standing in front of your TV time you're in canto movie time i'm adjusting to the fact that i haven't been able to do my nails <laughs> look they're just like all peeling off being bitten off and <sighs> literally since i got my gel kit i've like not even had a time where like maybe like a day or so here and there where i've not had my nails done i've loved doing my gel nails they've been such a self-care thing for me so the fact i'm here like these are not getting done anytime soon because the best time to get anything done is like when obviously Amber naps in the middle of the day and then like Mabel naps kind of 
quite frequently so like when they fall on the same time that's when I'm going to be able to get my nails done but I was and I was like I'll do it today make myself feel a bit put myself up a bit but Amber just refused her nap today which never happens but you know this is such a big change for her it's bound to kind of cause changes like that as well she just wanted to be downstairs with us and it's totally understandable but um she still like had some quiet time in her cot which was nice like she was just singing twinkle twinkle little stars to herself and stuff it was adorable but yes so I haven't actually had a chance to do my nails yet. That is not, that is bottom, bottom, bottom of my priority list right now, but it still brings me sad looking at my chipped, bitten nails and knowing I'm not gonna be able to do them for a while. But yeah, I've got, I've got other things to focus on. Oh, hello, Mila. Hello there. What are you doing there? Mila's been absolutely good as gold, guys. She is just the cutest, sweetest little thing with these babies. She'll just sit and like, just chill with them like this. <laughs> She waking up? Say morning, Mabel. Oh, it's not morning, morning. Mabel. Oh, it's not morning, is it? Hello, Mabel. <laughs> Hello, Mabel. <laughs> so cute. Anyway, so I'm gonna love you and leave you guys. I know James would have loved to um, finish the end of the vlog, but I feel like he's been napping the whole time because he's been an absolute supersonic dad. Um, I just, yeah, I feel like there'll be so much more time for us to catch up on everything once we regain our structure and schedule a little bit more. Um, so I hope the kind of random vlogging style is gonna be okay for a little while. Um, but thank you so much for being here for our first 24 hours at home as a family of five. Baby Mabel is just waking up, so I'm gonna give her a feed um, and we will catch up with you guys. I think we're gonna do like, over the next few days like the first kind of week with us at home if you get me so we'll have loads to catch up on then and we'll see you guys then and chat about everything thank you so much um for all the love and support songs coming on love you guys so much thank you and we'll see you in the next video bye